Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you. And it's for Wednesday, the 6th day of July, the last day of the month of Sivan. It's Rosh Chodesh, two-day Rosh Chodesh. And that's all day, all night, Tuesday night and Wednesday. All night, Wednesday night and Thursday. Tuesday night, Wednesday marks the end of the month of Sivan. And Wednesday night, Thursday marks the beginning of the month of Tammuz. Okay, now let's continue in our laws of uh, standing up for a safer Torah. This is not the time of the year to discuss it, but while we're on the topic of standing up for the Torah, you should just note that when they do hakafos in your shul on Simcha's Torah night, and they dance and dance and dance with the Torahs, and they're moving and moving and moving and moving, and there are a lot of people are sitting during that. So how come? So there are a lot of explanations and things to say about that. Here we go. First of all, um, some rabbis say that the Torahs during Hakafas are not really in transit. We stand up for a Torah when it's being brought from point A to point B. It's not really being brought from point A to point B during Hakafas. It's doing the dance of Hakafas, so it's like it's in one place. I know it's moving, but it's in the Hakafas stage, and therefore some say you don't have to stand at all during Hakafas. Others say that a reason that you're allowed to sit during Hakafas is because the dancers kind of make a division between the, where the Torahs are and where the sitters are, people sitting down and those dancers in between are like a divider and therefore the people sitting behind them can continue to sit. Some say that you should try to stand um, if possible unless you're feeling weak. I'll tell you something interesting that Rabbi Yaakov did this, Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky, Rabbi Moshe Feinstein did it and Rabbi Belsky also did this and that was they would sit when necessary but they would place something between them and where the towers were dancing like a stender, you know, a pulpit thing or a chair or something so that they would be behind something, behind a divider as they sat during the hakafos. Rav Shalom Zalman used to say that you should try to stand for the first hakafa. That's like kind of like a, a an obligation and then the sixth, the second, the third, all the way to the seventh are kind of like extra, and you could sit down for those. That's how he used to see it. All agree that during the in-betweens, you know, they read things in between the hot couples, all say that you could sit during that part. Um, so in general, what we're doing during hot covers, you can see there are a lot of different opinions. Some people say there should be some standing. Some people say that dividers are, are helping. And some people say that the Torahs aren't in transit. So a lot of discussion about why it is that a lot of people sit during the hot covers. Okay, now, um, common practice is that whenever the Ark, the Aron Kodesh, is open, people stand up. It's not really a command, you know, that you have to, but that's the common practice. We just like to give honor to the Torahs by uh, standing whenever the Aron Kodesh, the Holy Ark, is open. Um, if it's open to take out a Torah, then certainly yes, then everyone should try to stand. Unless someone is weak or old and not able to stand, then they would be allowed to be seated when the Ark is open. Thanks for logging on, and remember all of your Rosh Chodesh editions. Have a very good Chodesh, and um, log on again tomorrow. It'll still be Rosh Chodesh then. And uh, yeah, see you. Have a great month. Bye-bye.